G'day, so it's Tuesday the 8th of September 2020 and uh, the strawberries, that's the prison alarm going off, I'm not allowed out, no, school alarm. Um, strawberries in the flood and drain, uh, doing really well, taken off. There's some older leaves there, a bit um, not so happy, but uh, the new growth is looking fantastic, really good. This um, spotting here is where I sprayed them with wettable sulphur, which is a fungicide and also a miticide, because I had a few spider mites on there. But um, yeah, they're really pushing out, lots of new growth, and uh, it's going really well. I put this system on wheels, so I can um, wheel it uh, out into the sun, and back under the uh, patio when it's, when it's raining, so that's been good. Uh, there we go. It's, um, you've seen how it works. Pumps up four times a day, only takes about uh, four minutes. And it floods it. So um, I'll keep updating how things are going. I haven't changed out the nutrients yet. It's probably been about three weeks due to be changed. All right, that's that one. Looking good. Seeds are doing well. This is a tomato plant that I dug out of the paving. I lifted out some pavers. Behind that are okra. Uh, Carolina reapers on the left. And uh, habaneros on the right. And these are some uh, zucchinis. And I've already planted out some of these um, cucumbers here. They're doing really well. In my uh, sterile seed uh, raising. Flood and drain table, I planted up some, um, some new seeds. So these are radishes, too many of them, but oh, that's all right, I'll thin them out. And the carrots, and um, the carrots, that's a dog's paw print there. Dog's been up here. Um, the carrots are coming up. What I did, I mixed the carrot seeds with some sand, put them down, um, watered them, put some uh, wet paper towel across the top and a board on top, which was recommended to me by um, Colin Lowe down in Albany. Western Australia. So I tried that method and we've got great germination this time. Fantastic. So they're doing really well. The, um, the beetroot are, are great. I'm gonna take them out because um, the onions are really taking off now. You can see how thick that stem is. And they're starting to sort of look like they're starting to form up um, balls of onion. And I need, probably need um, these beetroot to go. So the onions at the back here, look at this one. That's just loving it. So the onions at the back have got a bit more sunlight. So I'll take these guys out. Here, look at this beetroot in there. Can you see that? Plenty of beets. Quite a good size. So that's like about four inches of uh, five mil gravel. Doing really well floods three times a day so every eight hours and it only takes I think seven minutes total to flood and then it drains back into this drum that's where the pump is and there's a garlic here they're doing pretty well it gets a bit sort of shaded on the east side here too much for the shed but um, you know afternoon it gets a lot of sun so I think that um, as the weather warms up, it'll, it'll go a lot better. But I'm pretty happy with how it's going. This um, coloured chard come up on its own. Thank you. Here the um, snow peas are have taken over everything. We've got some septoria blight in there now. The spots, you see the spots on the leaf? Um, but they've got to come out this week. I need that space for cucumbers. There's plenty of uh, snow peas on there, but I need the room. And all this stuff in the, um, sort of this picnic table setting is um, really going well. We've been eating a lot of broccoli. This one's better get picked today or it's gonna get too big. Um, I took those plants out of there. I need uh, this space for some chilies now. 
over here. I've already picked some, uh, picked a bunch of broccoli. Snow peas are there. And these um, sweet peas over here. Sugar snap peas. Again, they're coming out as well to make room for cucumbers. Plenty of peas up there. It's been great. But I need the space. So it's time we got to go this week. Enviro recyclers. Uh, these have drilling mud in them. I will um, use these to build hydroponic systems. Just cut the top off here. Drill out the um, here, and I can I can plumb in. This is how I make my Dutch buckets. So I got these um, from recyclers. They were three dollars each. Um, I don't know, about thirty drums. Um, no, twenty-five drums, seventy-five bucks. And um, they got plenty there. The guy said to me, if you want to come back, uh, two dollars each. So his price is going down every time I go there. Um, so if you want to make um, very low cost Dutch buckets, using 20 litre drums is fantastic. Sniffy McGriffy.